Do you make these three mistakes when buying inshore saltwater fishing tackle? Hey, everybody, I'm Joe Simons, like diamonds. And I'm Luke Simons. And we are the Salt Strong Brothers. Welcome to this webinar. This is going to be incredibly valuable for you if you are a saltwater angler who catches redfish and loves catching speckled trout and snook and flounder and mangrove snapper, all of our favorite inshore saltwater species. What we are about to cover is everything that we wish someone had shared with us many years ago. It would have saved us probably, what do you think, Luke, tens of thousands of dollars? Yes, uh, it is shameful how much money I've wasted. I mean, this is just a collection of spare reels that I've accumulated over the years. It's out of control. And so we just want to make sure that you don't make this mistake and that you can learn from all of the, the testing that I've, that I've ended up doing with all this gear. Yep. And so here's what we're going to cover. We're going to actually go through three different case studies. And one of them is actually going to be on reels. The first case study is how to avoid buying the wrong rod for your spinning reel. And, and almost all weekend warriors make this costly mistake, uh, including us, including yours truly. Case study number two, how to save hundreds of dollars on your leader line and have a superior leader line with higher abrasion and breaking strength. And then case study number three, why these inexpensive inshore reels are keeping up with and many times even outperforming some of the top of the line, even most expensive spinning reels out there on the market, even after being dunked in salt water. And so we're going to take our pictures away here in just a second and go through these, uh, these case studies. Let me figure out how to do that. Stop video. There we go. And we're also going to talk about a proven hack to catching an inshore slam any weekend of the year. And the beauty of this, it's something you can do at home, like off the water, even on your phone in 10 minutes or less. This is after years and years of us doing this full time, finally kind of cracked the code on a, really the ultimate shortcut to catching inshore slam. So I know, Luke, you're pretty pumped about sharing that. Absolutely. It's going to be good. Oh, yes. But first, have you ever heard this? The key to catching more fish is just more tackle. You ever heard that, Luke? Uh, yeah, that all this extra tackle I have is proof of it. I, I trusted it and believed it for many years. Yeah, and if you watch the fishing shows and the magazines, and they're all 100% paid for by ads. They're all, all, all the entire industry wants you to just buy more stuff, but that is flat out wrong. That is not the key to catching more fish. And if you're wondering why, well, because buying lures and going fishing are two different hobbies and certainly buying tackle and actually catching fish are completely different hobbies. Guys, here are the two reasons why just spending money on more tackle is not the answer. I love this little meme here. Number one is because fish don't care how much you paid for your tackle. Uh, hey guys, let's all agree to only strike lures that were purchased at full price. It sounds silly, but yet so many of us have that mentality. If you look on Instagram and social media, you see so many people who are, and they should be. I love buying new gear. We are not about uh, not buying the nicest and best stuff out there. But at the end of the day, that's not the answer to catching more fish. Because if it was, if you guys have seen this video or not, this is our friend, Captain uh, Krista there. And it's out there on YouTube. I put a little link below. I mean, she catches a nice redfish on a Barbie rod, a $10 bar Barbie rod from from a Walmart using a McDonald's chicken McNugget. So that is proof that it's not about how much money you just spend on the gear. Clearly she was in the right place at the right time with, I guess, the right bait, which happened to be a McNugget. And reason number two is that no amount of threats or whispers or even prayers from you to your new tackle will help you find the feeding fish. Luke, you ever done this before? Ever uh, talk to your rods? I've never gone not quite that far, but uh, but again, definitely have uh, have purchased many rods that I regret because they they really did not help me catch a single thing more than I was catching before. Tell me where the redfish are hiding, or I'll snap you in half. And quite honestly, I know quite a few fishermen that have garages that look just like this, but no matter how well they organize all their tackle, they can't catch a cold, much less a redfish. And that's why merely just buying more tackle and fishing in the same boring spots, ask me how I know, because that's what we did forever, that they rarely, if ever, work. And that's also why the majority of weekend warrior fishermen, they end up skunked, they end up frustrated, they end up confused on why they can't consistently get tight lines. And that word is so important, consistently, because we've all had good days, right? Like we had days we'd go up there and kill it 
and, and we're high five and like, Oh, we finally found that spot. And then the very next trip in the same area, we, we don't even catch it. We don't catch a catfish, let alone a redfish or, or a snook or a trout. Yep. Yeah. Same tides, same spot, and then totally different results and just led to a lot of frustration. So here's the truth. Becoming a consistent angler is all about being at the right spot at the right time with the right tackle and the right lure slash bait presentation. That's it. That is the secret to catching inshore slams every single trip. And I'm going to revisit it because this is so critical. If you get this, you're going to, you your fishing will absolutely change right spot, right time, right tackle, right presentation. So you know, these, these manufacturers, they're right on one part of it. You do need the right tackle, but they're missing the other three pieces. And without all four, you will never catch as many fish as you deserve. It's that plain and simple. Without all four, you're going to end up like this guy with a thumbs down and ticked off. You'll never catch as many fish as you deserve. But Luke, on the other hand, right, fish are quite predictable and they actually become much easier to catch once you put these four things together. And, and the, the truth is that the four things that they're all important, the first two are much more important than the other. Ones. Yes. So again, the right spot at the right time. If you do that properly, the importance of the tackle totally diminishes. Yep. And so that's why today in this agenda, in the small time that we have together, we are going to give you some tools to master all four, starting with those top two. We are going to go over the three case studies where we break down those three most costly tackle mistakes. And then we're also going to go into that bonus, that proven hack to catching an inch or slam every weekend that you can do from the comfort of your home. And that's all focused on those top two that Luke mentioned, which ultimately is putting you at the right spot at the right time. Then we focus on all the tackle. And if you stay to the very end, we are going to reward you. We are going to give you our proprietary 10 minute smart inshore fish finding system completely for free. So first, I know everyone's uh, at a different phase in terms of they've heard of us or not. I know we get this question a lot. When we do these webinars. All right, well, who the heck is Saltrum? Why, you know, why am I listening to you guys? What's going up? We're, we're honestly just two ordinary dudes. We're two brothers who grew up fishing our entire lives. We were born and raised in Florida. We started off frustrated. We chased the wrong things, probably like, like you, probably like almost everyone. We studied all the wrong things. And then one day, everything, change, which we'll share with you in a, in a little bit. And we eventually went on to create the largest online saltwater fishing club in America called the Salt Strong Insider Club. And Luke, you know, you could talk on this. We quit our job, sold everything with the ultimate goal just to teach the world how to catch more fish in less time. Yeah. So we started with the insider community. It really was designed to be something that we just wish we had when we had to learn it the hard way over, over many years of frustration and inconsistency. And you know, we've had 3 million anglers come to our side every year now. It's, it's, been, it's been really awesome watching it grow. And uh, yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to catch the snook from the third uh, floor balcony. That, that is what a lot of people uh, know us from. That was uh, our most viral video. And, uh, and yeah, just we've been become, which has been amazing, the, the fastest growing online fishing club in America, which has yeah, been. And has if been if you guys have ever heard of or tied the FG knot, that was uh, made famous by us. So we've done a lot of things, right? This is a picture of Luke, you know, back when he was in the, in the real world, meaning he actually had a job at corporate America and was fishing the weekends against many full-time guides. Luke's not very uh, braggadacious, but I'll brag on him. He was winning money and actually entering in real tournaments against real full-time guides and, and beating not all of them, but many of them pretty consistently using the same formula and using these same tricks that we are going to teach you today. So we've done a lot of things right. But as I mentioned earlier, we've done so many things wrong. And this is us growing up is uh, kids down there in Marco Island. And we were held hostage live bait. We wouldn't actually go fish until we had a live well that was basically blacked out. We had no idea that you could go out there and catch an inshore slam with just a fake lure. It just didn't even occur to us, did it? Yeah, absolutely not. And, and no telling how much time we wasted catching bait, looking back on it. And, uh, and I'm actually impressed with my form. Look at that. So that's me in the, on the right and left throwing the net. And I've got the same form both, uh, both times. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, this like is the right slide where we talk about we did things wrong. So you got to stick with it here. <laughs> All right. So another thing that we did wrong for years, and these are our own maps. That's me just poking fun at ourselves. We used to think that was the answer, you know, these GPS spots. We've already talked about it in prior presentations. 
guess what moves every single day, every single tide cycle? It's fish. Fish have tails and no fences. They move like crazy. That's why these top spot maps are not the answer. GPS spots in general are not the answer. You need to know all four of those things that we mentioned to you earlier to really dial it in. Otherwise, everyone that owned one of these maps would be catching inshore slams every single year. And so after doing this now for you know 20 plus years, it's come down to a few things that we've discovered. Consistently catching fish, it's less about tackle, as you're going to keep hearing over and over again, and it's more about the trends. Luke, talk about this, about fish being very predictable. Yeah, I mean, the biggest misconception is that fish are smart and that they are they have lockjaw or whatever, and the truth is that fish are not smart at all. All they're doing is they're reacting to the changing environment, whether it's a cold front coming in or pressure system all they're doing is reacting. They're not sitting there thinking and trying to do statistical analysis on where they're going to find the most food or be, the, be safest. They're just doing reactions. And as long as you just know how they react to those changing conditions, they're extremely predictable. Yep. And then 90% of the feeding fish can be found in 10% of the area at any given time. This is not something that we made up. This is something that we've read in every book from the, the pros from Texas to Florida, the Carolinas for catching inshore saltwater fish that everyone has agreed that at any given time, 90% of the feeding fish can be found in, in a 10% of any area. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. And then finally, you know, the power of a large community, this inside club has been game changing for so many in terms of, of time saving to be able to bounce an idea off someone to basically have access to guides and the pros. And of course, the money savings is, uh, is pretty cool as well. So we discovered this the hard way. You get to cheat and get everything the easy way. So let's get into it. Case study number one, how to avoid buying the wrong rod for your spinning reel. This is something that almost all weekend warriors are doing incorrectly. So let's jump to putting ourselves in the video real quick and we'll show you exactly what we mean. All right, Luke. So what is the big issue here with the rod and reel pairing? All right. So if you get nothing out of this video, just get this. The rod is the number one piece of equipment in the toolkit. It's not the reel, it's the rod. Not even close, especially if you're using artificial lures. The rod is what helps you cast further and with more accuracy. The rod controls what you feel, whether you feel the strike or not. In many cases, people don't even feel their strikes when they get them. The rod is what controls the hook set, the hook setting power, again, and the feel. And it just does so much more. All the reel does, especially spinning reels, where, where you don't have to, ha you don't have a, a bait caster that actually does have pretty complex mechanisms to let the line out. All the bail does, the bail just gets out of the way, right? As far as casting, it does nothing. It just, all it does is try to get out of the way to let the line go out. And then it provides drag, you know, once the, once the rod has done its work and, and felt the strike, hooked the fish, then the reel starts providing some value with the drag. So for many years, I, I totally had that backwards and I was going out and focusing on the reel and then just getting kind of whatever rod fit my budget. And I needed to have switched the budget focus to, to prioritize the rod and then think less about the, the reel. Because in reality, the rod's number one, the line is number two, and the reel is number three. That's the mentality that you need to have when you're going out and buying new gear. Yep. And so for many, many years, you know, we were young and, and we were saving up money to buy, you know, the new reel, you know, whether it be Shimano or Dio or Penn, doesn't really matter. But I, I remember like saving up money and we, we'd finally be able to buy this brand new, beautiful reel. And then the rod would be an afterthought or, or even worse, get a just combo that's just right off the shelf. And, and looking back now, I was like, well, man, no wonder uh, we weren't getting as many good hook sets. No wonder we weren't getting as long distance cast, regardless if you're using live bait or, or, or lures. I mean, the, the rod is by far the most critical. And, and even if you get that part of it, you still now have this issue of getting the right rod to do the work that you need it to do, right? I mean, it, it just seems to be just this afterthought and the, the anglers that get this, I mean, all the pros get this. You'll see them, they, they know what reels work and they just like, okay, cool. They spend so much time testing out rods. So talk about that, Luke, in terms of, of pairing the right, uh, the right reel, the right rod, whatever way you want to say it. Talk about making sure that these things fit and they're aligned and that they're going to do the job you need them to do. Well, yeah, for, for inshore fishing, this is all just focused on inshore saltwater fishing, yep. redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder. 
And for that type of fishing, as far as the real size, all you really need to think about is just getting around a 3,000, like a 2,000 or 3,000 size. Is If you do that, you're good. You're in good shape. So that, that is all you need to think about on the, on the reel. Very basic, right? Uh, as far as the rod, that's where it gets a little bit more complex, but there's a way just to, to simplify it all. So there's two things with the rod that you need to be, to be mindful of. Number one is the power. Number two is the action. Those are two separate things. So the rod power, I'll just back it up a little bit. The rod power is how much, how much power, how much force does it take to just bend the rod? You know, how much force does it take? So heavy power, right? Takes more force, light power, doesn't take much at all. And then the action is where in the blank does the bending occur? So fast action means that just the tip, you probably can't even see it in the video, but it's just the tip does the bending. And then a moderate action or a slow action will be more like a fly rod where like the bend happens way down in the bend, in the blank as well. So for inshore saltwater fishing, what I found, I've tested a lot of rods. You can see just a small selection right here behind me. I've had, again, I've had a fishing addiction for quite some time is what I found is that for inshore, the, the best all round setup has been either a medium to medium heavy power with a fast action tip. So that way you have the backbone to handle, you know, these redfish and snook, they'll get, you know, they'll get 40 plus inches. And that way you have a, a rod that has enough backbone to handle the bigger fish, but you also have a light enough tip to cast even a little small, a little small uh, jerk bay, a little small soft plastic on a weighted hook. You can cast this a mile and you can have the power to handle the big fish when they, when they hit. So it's crucial. What I don't like, what every time I get one, I'm totally disappointed are the medium light rods, the, the medium light power rods. It's just like a wet noodle, right? With all that rod bending, if all that rod bending, as that rod's bending with your hook set, I mean, that's just power lost. That, that, that's that's your, your hook set power is totally lost in that rod doing that huge arc. And that's gonna significantly decrease your hookup ratio when you're using, especially using uh, weedless soft plastics, which a lot of us have to use because those fish will get up shallow around structure. So that would, that would be the, I would say the biggest thing. What I used to do, again, I would get those cheaper rods. They market themselves as being unbreakable and I'll be, oh man, that's awesome. I'll never have to worry about my rod breaking. What that also means is that you have no feel because it can just bend, right? It can bend on itself. It's not gonna break. That's just, it's just way too weak. Yep. So performance then, wise, it just decreases, it just plummets. And then let you in on one other secret, you know, now that we're, you know, have a pretty decent sized tackle store for our insider members where they save 20% off. We, we've, we've kind of realized one of the, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to call it a, a, a rip off, but it usually is not the best interest for you to ever buy a combo. And, and here's why, I mean, what a lot of these groups do is they, you know, sell a combo and it's this amazing deal and all they've done, it's taken this reel and then put it with a pretty crappy rod and made it look like this is just the deal of the century. My personal opinion is if you're a serious saltwater angler and you really want to go out there and catch inshore slams and be consistent, don't ever buy a combo. Combos are for kids. Like I buy combos for, uh, for my kids, but I don't think any of us as, as if you're watching this, that means you're a serious angler. You truly want to get better and you want to become more consistent. You probably should never be buying a combo unless it's for a kid or just to have a little, you know, spare that you don't mind if it gets dunked or not. Cause usually in almost every scenario I've seen the, the tackle store or the manufacturer in some cases is just pairing it up with a really crappy rod. That's not going to do the job you need it to do just to make that real or that the discount on the whole thing look a whole lot better. Yeah. And you can tell, right. It's easy to, it's easy to distinguish in the store. You can just go and pick, get get a, you know, high end rod, like just get a, one of the, you know, expensive rods, a couple hundred dollars or more and that that's for inshore fishing and just grab it and, and just, just put the, the, uh, the tip on the ground and just make it bend. And you'll be able to feel, you, you can feel how much power it takes to actually bend, to start bending the rod. And you can see where in the rod that the bending happens. So you can feel the power, you can see the action. And then compare that to the combo rod and you're gonna see the, the wet noodle effect. When you do that combo rod, it's just totally gonna to cave when you hit it and it's gonna have a big parabola. And again, it, it works okay for, for cut bait fishing. You know, if you're, if you're just, or, or even live bait in some cases, if you're just kind of sitting there and waiting and kind of having the rod holder do the, do the work. Uh, but if you're if you're going to be actively casting, that you, your 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 performance is going to totally plummet 
when you get those um, those less expensive uh, those less expensive rods. So super important. Yep. And two points for you for uh, fitting in wet noodle and parabola. I did not expect to hear those two words in this presentation. So <laughs> not easy to do, Joe. <laughs> Good not job. Easy. All right, let's move on to case study number two, talking about leader line. This is something that I believe could be honestly one of the biggest marketing ploys or even a kind of a, a ripoff out there in some, some instances. And that's this, you know, fluoro versus mono. And then you got this fluoro line versus fluoro leader line, which sometimes can be two, three, five times more expensive than the normal line. And from everything we can tell, like we're asking some of these manufacturers, there's like, show us some anything kind of proof. And there's not much out there. It's mostly been just marketing. So let's talk about that real quick in terms of kind of the truth about this fluoro leader versus fluoro versus mono. Yeah, again, another lesson I learned the hard way. It's, uh, it's shameful how much money I've wasted on stuff. But uh, what I've learned, and so I mentioned before that line's number two. So rod one, line two, reel three. So it, we, let's talk quick about braids. So there's, there's the main line. For the beginners, we need a main line. So the main line that's in the reel, very, very important is to go braid. If you're using spin reels with artificial lures, it's a game changer, total game changer. And a light braid is all that's needed. But um, on the leader line, that's, that's important as well. And the leader line is that last bit before the, it's in between the main line and the lure. It's, it's what you use to beef up the business section, right? That's right there in the fish's mouth. That's what's going to get most of the abrasion. And also that's what you need it to be as clear as possible, right? So that the fish can't see it. They can see braid pretty easily. The, the clear... The clear line, whether it's mono or, or fluoro, is, is much tougher to see. Um, but as far as the, the mono to fluoro, what has been just shocking, I've been doing a lot of tests. I've got a line all tingled up over here. But I'm doing a lot of tests on various lines. Like here's one of tests. It's the Seaguar fluorocarbon. And I've always, there's so much hype on this fluorocarbon line that myself included, I was paying, it's like 20, it's, this one is a, this lower end, but it's probably like $12 for 25 yard spool. Uh, we have some higher end stuff like this, you Zuri. Okay, this is 13, but $14 for 25 yards. Uh, I have some, some much more expensive stuff too. But what I've learned is that price does not equal performance, not at all. And this fluorocarbon stuff in particular um, it, there was just so much hype on it being stronger. It, it, all of them, the marketing will say stronger. If you look online, you'll see it's, you know, it's so strong. And, and so in my mind, I, I believe that it was much stronger than regular monofilament line, which is way monofilament line is way less expensive. Yeah. And I thought that it was invisible in the water, whereas mono fish could see. And turns out as from doing some actual tests, um, it seems like the fluorocarbon is not noticeably better at all. In some cases, noticeably worse. In, in particular with the abrasion resistance, which for me is extremely important. I'm fishing water that's in Tampa Bay a lot, but I'm, I'm traveling a lot. In most cases, it's not going to be like gin clear like the Keys, but it's relatively clear. And, and But I'm fishing areas that have a lot of snook and, uh, and tarpon and, and even bass that have that rough mouth and they do a lot of head shakes. And just structure like docks. And I mean, you got, yeah. you have a, a reason to have abrasion resistance it pretty much anywhere you fish with structure. Yeah. And so when you get, when you get that combination, right, a fish with, if you fish around barnacles, just any, any sort of abrasive surface that is likely going to be rubbing up against the line, the abrasion resistance is, is extremely important. And I've done some tests where I actually built an assembly that has this, uh, this sandpaper on it. And I, and I rub, I rub the lines against it with the same force and I measure how long it takes to wear through the line and, and the fluorocarbons get totally demolished. Um, so testing out the fluorocarbon, like these expensive fluorocarbons versus a regular monofilament line, the mono beats it significantly. And it's way less expensive. And I even, you know, I even equated, so just so you don't know, um, it's like a 20 pound fluorocarbon is a little bit thinner diameter than 20 pound monofilament line. So I, I did some tests on 20 pound rating versus of fluoro versus 20 pound rating of, of a monofilament. And then I did another test that equated the diameters. So it was a diameter focused. And on that one, the 20 pound mono, so the basic mono, I don't have a full 20 here, but this basic Andy mono, 20 pounds beat the 25 pound fluoro that was slightly thicker. So it's not just a line diameter thing. It, it is the actual properties of the line 
it actually decreases this expensive fluorocarbon decreases the abrasion resistance. That has been one of the biggest lessons I've learned and it has saved me an absolute ton of money. I used to not go fishing. This is the lower one. I would only use the blue label. And that one's like, it's like 14 to $20 for a 25 yard spool, depending on where you get it. And no telling how many of these spools I bought over the years. And I was totally shocked. I was blown away when I saw this basic line where you can get it like $4 for 50 yards, right? So significant, significant cost savings. The basic line beat it significantly. And, so I would say that's another takeaway. And by the way, if you've watched our YouTube channel or if you're ever seen any of the videos we've put out there every single day, Luke, who is usually in them and is fishing and catching fish almost every single day, seven days a week, he has not used floral this entire year. And we're talking about in clear areas because that's what we always hear is, well, I heard, you know, it's fish can't see it as well, meaning fluoro, and then it's stronger. We invested in a thousand dollar not contest thing, like in terms of actually showing breaking strength. I mean, we, we bought the nicest stuff we can to just keep proving it. We don't have we don't have a dog in this game. We don't have I mean, there's there's no reason for us to care one way or the other. We just want to report just like consumer reports because we have no sponsors. We want to tell you guys and report back to our members and our audience what truly is the best value. And when you look at things like just mono versus fluoro, I can still see why someone might want to use fluoro maybe, but I, I, unless you can tell me something different, Luke, would anyone ever want to buy the fluoro leader or is it, and is it exactly the same just with a higher price in a, I mean, in a smaller I amount? When I go down to the Keys, like this year, every time I've gone down to the Keys, I'm using regular monofilament line. And the and clearest water possible for the most for the most part, from Texas to the Carolinas. And as Working River, we are doing that podcast with, with Hollywood and, and that big snapper. Go remember that big snapper got me got me down in the, in the in some sort of structure. And you guys were making fun of me, thinking that I was hooked on the bottom. And I, I just gave a little bit of time, finally came out. And it was the biggest snapper of the trip. It was on 20 pound, 20 pound regular mono and everybody else was using the, the, the really expensive fluoro and I caught the biggest fish. So it's not, um, it, obviously, I, mean, I can't say for certain that the visibility, so the visibility is the, is the next thing to test. It's really hard to test. It's, it's going to be really hard. What I built, we'll be posting this soon, is I built a, uh, this is a thing I'm going to have, you can see all the different lines we're going to put on here. So we're going to put 20 lines. We're going to string them on there, put it underwater and film, actually film it under different lighting, different water clarities, just to see if there's a noticeable difference. I don't think there will be, but it'll be interesting to see. But as far as on the water performance and then the knot strength and the abrasion resistance, um, I, I favor monofilament. So like I, I've done a total 180. I, I would have never been caught dead using monofilament. And uh, before, because I, I was kind of drinking the Kool-Aid, if you will, because it's everywhere. Right? If you look at any magazine, uh, the fishing shows, you know, almost all of them are, are talking about fluorocarbon. And, uh, and it's just so far, when, when actually studying it, when I'm trying to get some statistical differences, every time I can actually test it, it hasn't been a, a favor to fluoro at all. It's either been about even or, or even worse. So a big, that's been the biggest surprise of, of like the last couple of years for me. And if you really think it's all about the invisibility factor, one, there's a million different ways to prove that Luke is catching fish. More world records have been caught on Andy monoline in terms of a leader than any other line or type of line out there. And then finally, I mean, the thing that the fish is striking is got a massive hook hanging out of it. You think after being hooked a few times, these fish might see that versus, uh, you know, a potentially seeing a reflection of a, of a line. So I don't know that I'm, uh, I'm buying it. All right, let's. And also too, just, just so you know, we're not sponsored by Andy or anything like this Berkeley big game. I've tested this as well and it works yep. great too. I just like the Andy because it's one of the few monos that come in the, in the kind of the convenient wrist pools. Um, so that's so just yeah we're we're unique to the fact that we we don't accept sponsorships from from any manufacturer we're 100 percent sponsored by our insider fishing club so our our bias is to fellow anglers it's not to the corporations that's i think it's a, it's been a big uh, a big problem in the industry that's a problem that resulted in me having all these all these bins of just stuff that i don't even need um so that's just to be i want to make sure that everybody's clear on that yep amen 
All right, case study number three, why these inexpensive inshore reels are keeping up with and many times outperforming the top of the line spinning reels, even after being dunked in salt water. Luke, what are we talking about here? Maybe let's start with a, a story of what you and I used to always do, right? I mentioned it earlier, we would save up our money to buy the nicest, nicest brand new, shiniest reel there was. And for many years, it's probably like a lot of people who are really into watches. You know, you want the nicest one and, and oh, there it is, the old Stratic. And we're not poo-pooing on the Stratic. We like Stratics. We still have quite a few of them. But like, that was what we did. Like, we would save money to go buy a new Shimano Stratic CI4. And, and when, when that model came out, like that was, I think that was all I used for quite some time. And these are 230 to 50, depending on where you're getting it. I mean, these are not cheap inshore saltwater reels. Yeah, so this was like my dream reel. Growing up, huge fishing addiction, see these on TV and everything, and look at the specs, and just, they look pretty cool too. They're just not so real. So these these reels are awesome. These are the Shimano Stratics, the, the CI4s. Um, they're, they're known for, for how light they are. So they're very lightweight, and they still pack a punch. They, 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 they're an excellent reel. And so... And again, back in the day, I would, okay, oh, I got to get this reel. And then an afterthought was, was the rod. And okay, I just spent $230. I'm mowing lawns for a living in high school. And I, that's not much money, that much, not much spare money uh, doing that on the side while in school. So now I just go get like a $50 rod to put on this 200, you know, to, to put this $230 reel on backwards, totally backwards. And, and after doing a lot of testing, so part of the reason why I have all these reels, I have been, uh, at least in the, in the recent past, I've been actively buying new reels to just test them out and see, see how they perform. And once I started doing that, I realized that the actual performance of the high-end reels aren't always in line with their cost. In some cases, the inexpensive ones can even be better, which was the biggest surprise as well. And so one, I guess we'll go ahead and share it. One in particular, and I'm still testing, this could very well change. And, but one that I've been testing that has been really, really impressive, that is, is a lower end one. So we're, we're talking lower end, just under $100, is this uh, Daiwa Fuego. And what's interesting, they actually look pretty similar. If you put them together, right? They're both kind of red and black, kind of have yeah. the same, same size. Um, so the, the weight difference is, is a little bit, so this is slightly, um, slightly heavier. But like one is 7.5 pounds, I think, or 7.5 ounces, not pounds, ounces. <laughs> and the other one is like 7.8 ounces or something where it's like, it's so close that you can't really tell when actually using it. And the, the smoothness is the same. The drag capacity is the same. In, in reality, we don't need, both of them are like 20 pounds of drag. We only need, when using 10 to 15 pound line, you only need like four pounds of drag, like two to four. So it's drag is kind of a, it just needs to be a smooth drag and both have very smooth drags. Um, but long story short, the performance of this $99 reel turned out to be pretty much the same as, as the expensive one. And, and if anything, I had a lot of issues with this bearing right here, making a lot of noise pretty quickly. And, and this one, I've, I really haven't had really many, any noticeable issues with it. Um, and also this has, is mag sealed where that, that kind of, that just helps prevent the salt water from getting inside. It's like this one, I literally dunked it a couple of weeks ago on accident while wade fishing. And I, I didn't do anything just so I wanted to see how, uh, how it can handle it. And I can't tell a difference at all. And, and I've totally had a daughter dunk mine and even have it kind of get in the, it was, we were beach fishing there and get even in some sand and salt, which is like literally the one-two punch of what you don't want to happen to a reel. And that was like seven or eight months ago. I and mean, this is past summer and the thing is still working. Yeah, I had to do a little bit of cleanup on it, but the thing is still working. Of course, for our Insider members, I don't know if you guys know this, but you know we get 20% off all of our rods and reels, et cetera. So you're talking about an, an $80 reel that's holding up and then sometimes even outperforming something that's $240, $250. Uh, it was mind blowing. And so this is not something we've tested just for months. This has been going on a couple of years now. And as Luke said, that might change. If you, if you guys watch one of our webinars a year from now, we might find something new. I'd love to find something new in terms of the overall value. Uh, but that Daiwa Fuega with the mag seal, 
Uh, I just, I don't think you can, you can beat it for overall value. Uh, I mean, That's for it, like light tackle fishing, because the problem with it though, we're always transparent. The problem with it is that this arm is, is a little bit flexible. And uh, so people, um, the people I've heard bad things about, or just you know, negative things about this reel say that it's, it's just, it, it kind of, it can, if you put a lot of pressure on it, it'll, it'll flex a little bit. And, um, and just people, I guess, don't, don't like the feel of it flexing. I've, I've never heard of the next one breaking and, and I, I've caught, you know, over slot snook and reds on mine. And I, I personally haven't felt a problem, but that's, that's been the, the, the only thing that I've heard uh, about, uh, about that difference a noticeable difference in favor of the, uh, the more expensive one. Yep. And so once again, that's our whole goal is kind of the, this consumer reports because we have no sponsors and we really report to our members or insider members into you, our audience is we want to tell you like it is, we don't have sponsors. We don't allow any advertisements on our site or anywhere. And I, I think the saltwater industry in general is just lacking that they're lacking that clarity and kind of the fair and balance. It's all sponsor driven and ad driven. And we want to do the opposite, never to like throw any of these companies under the bus because there are a lot of them are really great. But at the same point, show you guys the best value. End of the day, I don't care how much money you spend on, on tackle. We want you catching more fish, right? Don't you? I mean, don't you want to go out there and create more memories? Don't you want to have the confidence to go out there and catch fish every trip and at least get tight lines? I mean, I know I do. I'm taking my family out or friends. I want to know that I'm going to be able to get in the right spot at the right time with the right tackle and the right presentation, which is really what it's all about. Yeah, and it's, and it's more fun catching fish on inexpensive tackle, right? If, if yes. you know how to what to buy and, and not overspend and you come back to the dock and, and you, you catch more with less expensive gear and, and less gear too, we, we teach for all club members, you know, you know that we teach the – Less is more in most cases. So we teach the, the exact precise lures to use every season. And that way you can just totally not even worry about the other ones. And so you can go out with a little small tackle box, uh, a less expensive rod reel combo than many other anglers and, and outfish a majority of them. That's, oh, yeah. that's like the ultimate. Cool. You guys ready to get in the, the free bonus? Let's do yeah. it. All right. Here's the proven trick to catching an inshore slam any weekend of the year that you can do at home in 10 minutes or less. It's this 10 minute smart fishing weekly game plan. It's something that Luke is doing every single week, 52 weeks of year. And it's proven to work from Texas to Florida, where it all started here to Virginia and everywhere in between. Luke, you want to talk about it real quick? Yes. This is all about putting the focus on where it should be. And that is putting yourself in the right spot based on the conditions, right? This isn't about GPS spot, not about selling a bunch of GPS points that only work in, you know, in small amounts of time. This is all about putting yourself in the spot based on the conditions. And so what, what do we do on every Friday is we go through and look at all the reports from the members and we report on the specific things to look for based on the conditions for the coming up weekend, right? So we look at the forecast, when the fronts are pushing in, what's going to be happening, and then and then correlate that with the recent feeding trends and just give you a quick game plan to go use. Yep. And, and we always talk, oh, good. Yep. And these are three of our members. These are three of our insider members right here that I just did screenshots of. And I don't know if you can see it close enough, but one's in Sarasota area, one's in that Marco Island, and one's in, in Freeport, Texas, so this has proven to work time and time again. We're getting these testimonials every single week. And I guess the big question is, you guys want to see how it all works? I guess the answer is yes. Luke kind of touched on it there briefly. And Luke, step one, right, is you're looking at this, this map, right? You talked about a, a focus of looking at, at everything, looking more big picture, looking at trends, and not just focusing on you know a top spot's GPS. Because the, the, what you're seeing here, these little dots on the map, Guess what those are? Those are actual fishing reports from our members. And we have new, you can't even see Florida anymore. It's so, it's so covered. I mean, and we're, we've got more going up every, I don't know, four or five minutes. And it's all broken out by region. Uh, this map is probably one of the most valuable things our insider members uh, get besides obviously saving money on tackle and all the other, the cool uh, on the water tips. But I mean, there is so much intel here and you could spend tons and tons of time but the best news is you don't have to because luke does it all for you yeah this is year so we're approaching our sixth year of doing this and the biggest lesson that that i've learned is that 
a redfish is a redfish is a redfish just as much as a trout is a trout is a trout, flounder, so on and so forth. It doesn't matter your region. Those fish have the same biological preferences. So if you learn how those fish naturally react to the changing conditions, right, based on the cold front coming in, based on, you know, uh, you know again, as I mentioned before, pressure, if you know how they are going to react, you can correctly forecast how they're going to react in Tampa, Florida, as you can in Jacksonville, Florida, as you can over in Texas, anywhere along the Texas coast, as you can up in the Carolinas. We even have members all the way up to, to you know, past, uh, past New York. And the, same, the fish behave the exact same way. So part of my job is to go and, re, and correspond with members. And I review these reports that come in daily. And, and I just pick out the trends. And also I, cor I correlate that with what I'm seeing on the water, of course. And, and just report, it's like the cliff notes. It's like the weekly cliff notes on, okay, here, here's what's going on. Here's what to think about. We have the full moon coming or a new moon or we're in between the moons. And what all that means and just deliver it in a nice, you know, quick thing where the biggest problem people have in most cases, they just don't have time yep. to uh, to go through forums online or to ask questions. This is just one thing that's no more than 10 minutes that sit there, click the button. And after that time, you have a game plan on what to do the following weekend. Yep. You'll know more than 99% of all anglers hitting the water that weekend if you just watch this 10 minutes. So it, it's real simple. So step number one, this is stuff Luke does. You don't have to do this. Luke reviews the interactive insider map to see what's out there, goes through it all and curates all the fishing reports for that week. Luke touched on it. Then he analyzes the smart fishing tides, looking at moon phases, looking at the tides and what's actually happening. Look at the wind direction, all these things come into play. And then step four is he condenses seven days of on the water intelligence into 10 minutes. And that's every single week. We have some members who are busy. They have lives, they have kids, they have jobs, they have stuff going on, but they want to catch more fish. And so we have some members, all they'll do is just watch those 10 minutes every Friday morning before they go out on that weekend. And they are armed and dangerous. They now know it, it would be like calling up a full-time guide and then who's on the water every week in your area. And they just tell you exactly what to look for. Not exact whole spots, because once again, fish are moving every single day and every tide cycle, but where to be, what types of spots to be looking for and exactly what depths to be looking for these fish and the exact types of structures, the exact types of lures and or live bait, the size. I mean, all that stuff, we try to break it down and just make it simple for you. Just to literally give you every possible shortcut to go out there and maximize your time. Yeah, and we use real spots. So we'll go and pick a spot and do a dissection. You can see uh, down the bottom of the screen, there's a GPS satellite uh, view and an image. And so we use real examples for these, for these systems. So that way you can actually visually see exactly what we're talking about. And then all you have to do is get on a GPS satellite map near you, right? Which is free. And there's a bunch of platforms to do it. We teach how to do that as well. But, uh, but you get on there and just look for similar spots near you based on the conditions, right? Based on the wind direction, the, the current flow, where it's going, how fast it's going, and just put that game plan into action. And it's, it's, it is surprisingly easy. Um, so again, all of this is stuff that we wish we had years ago when we had to learn things the hard way. Yep. The old saying, give a fisherman a spot. You've helped them out for just one trip and then they're kind of lost after that. But you, you teach them some trends and give them some of this on the water intelligence, you've changed them for life. So big question, can we give you everything you've seen so far today, all 100% risk free? So I'm hoping that you agree that the past hour has been time well spent. Uh, bad news is we can't cover everything you need in just an hour webinar, even if we had all day. So if you've made it this far, I mentioned it in the very beginning, we want to give you a really special offer so you can get everything you need to both save money on your tackle and find the feeding fish. And if you act fast, we're going to give you some really, really special and very valuable free bonuses. So if you're ready to start outfishing all of your friends and outsmarting the fish and getting crazy tackle deals, then keep watching. You've heard us talk about it, the Salt Strong Insider Club. That's what we would like to invite you to. And I'm talking about a completely risk-free trial for a year. The three main things that really constitute this club are on the water, how-to fishing videos. And inside of that is that 10-minute 
smart fishing game plan that we just went over. We also have this amazing community that is where Luke is pulling out and curating all of the reports. And then of course, as I mentioned, the tackle discounts, which we all love because as much as we talk about saving money on tackle, we're, we're fishermen. We like to buy stuff, but I think what makes us so different and, and we've hit on this a few times already is we're sponsor free. We're constantly focused on the best value and what makes our store where we get 20% off for our members so unique is that we only sell the best, right? Luke, there's some of these tackle stores that have 4,000, I mean, 15 to 15,000 SKUs. We have like five to 600. We're trying to keep it super simple to take all the clutter out and only provide what truly works based on real on the water testing, not what, you know, some manufacturer said happens to be the, the, the best in their eyes because they want to sell it. Yeah. It's not about the hype. It's all about the actual performance. Yes. And then of course, 20% off everything, which adds up big time. We have some people that will spend, you know, a couple thousand dollars a year. I believe the average saltwater angler, I saw a report from American Sport Fishing Association, I believe it was around the $1,500 a year on just tackle. That does not include boats and kayaks. So you take 20% off and that's 20% off of like legit price you would see at a, at a big retail, like a Bass Pro. And that is your price uh, as an insider member. And we have some exclusive products that only insider members can get. And most members do save hundreds of dollars per year just on the tackle alone. So if you take us up on this offer today, here's exactly what you're going to get. We're going to get 400 plus with new ones going up every week on the water, how to fishing tip videos, $797 value. And that's very, uh, very conservative. The 10 minute smart fishing game plan videos every single week for 52 weeks, I showed you $397 value. The satellite spot dissection video library from Texas to Florida to Virginia. We didn't even get to show you that, but that's every single Monday we get on a satellite map and we'll pick a spot based on what our members are asking. So if you're a new member today, you get to put your uh, input in. And if it's, you know, one week Corpus Christi, Texas, and the next week, Fort Myers, Florida, and the next week, Charleston, we go there on the maps and actually dissect it and show you exactly how we would fish it exactly exactly where you should be positioning your boat, exactly where you should probably find your best chances of catching an inch or slam. And we have an entire library of these going on for a couple of years now. And as I mentioned, 20% off all fishing tackle, we do reviews and we do comparisons uh, internally. This is the stuff that you can't find out there on YouTube. And I put a $200 value there just because that's kind of a little close to average of what people are, are saving as a club member. And that's a total value of $1,591. Now, Luke, you probably agree. This is the question that we hear. And so we just want to put it out there right off the bat. People say, will this work for me? Who does it work for, Luke? Yeah, I mean, whether you're a weekend warrior, a beginner, if you're a beginner, you won't be a beginner for very long. That I can promise you. And even full-time guides. So we have, we have people come in really at, at all spectrums. But in a short amount of time, it, 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 it comes to an advanced angler really fast. Again, once you start learning those trends, over time, you're going to get better and better and better at predicting how those fish are going to react to the changing conditions. And, and, and again, beginners will not be beginners for very long. It, it really consists of, of, of really just anglers who just have a, a love and passion for, for fishing and, and are willing to share tips with others. Yep. No matter where you are, we have someone who has been in your shoes and, and just wants to get better, just wants to have that edge over the fish and wants to save time and, and maximize their time in the water. Because that's what we, we all know. We're busy as humans. We have stuff going on and we want someone, we want a guide, right? To just point us in the right direction. Tell us where, what types of areas we should be fishing to catch more fish and tell us what's really working, ultimately saving you time and money. This is proven to work for boaters, which we put a lot of emphasis on. We put a, a lot of emphasis on kayakers as well. And now even shore anglers. We have a guy named Wader Dave, who's uh, who's kind of our, our wade fishing and shore fishing expert. And we're bringing on new coaches as well. Definitely Texas to Florida to Virginia. Luke had mentioned we have members, you know, up in even in uh, New Jersey and New York. We even have them over in California. We even have some in Australia. But just to say, like with 100% guarantee, if you mostly fish or target inshore saltwater fish in Texas to Florida to Virginia and anywhere in between, this will guarantee 100% 
work for you. And, and Luke, this is something that, that we hear quite a bit is, well, I don't get to fish enough or I don't have time. Well, that's the whole point of this, right? This is all about maximizing your time. That's why we boil down all this intel every week into 10 minutes. And if you don't have 10 minutes, you need to go find a new hobby. I mean, 10 minutes to improve yourself and to skyrocket your chances of getting an inshore slam. And you could do this on the way to the ramp. You don't have to be sitting at your computer watching. You could literally have it plugged into your, to your car or to your earphones, your earbuds. Uh, this is all about helping people that don't have enough time and who don't get to fish enough. And when they do get the chance, they want to absolutely knock it out of their park and impress their friends, come back with a phone full of fish picks and not have a frustrating day. Absolutely. If you like catching inshore fish, redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder in particular, you're going to absolutely love this platform. Absolutely. And we've proven time and time again, that's why we have almost 20,000 members here. These are just a few of them. These are the kind of testimonials we're getting every single day. I love this one on the right. 19 day catch streak. Thanks to Salt Strong. 19 days. Uh, I absolutely love it. And this is one of our, our really cool stories. Uh, one of these is our insider members. And it was the very first inshore fishing tournament. Very anxious, a little bit nervous, as anyone would be. And, and he was kind of a newbie uh, for all intents and purposes. And these were two of the pictures. And this was the check uh, that he sent us a copy of. How awesome is that? Actually won some money. It was, I believe it was over $1,000. They won the uh, tournament. Yeah, and in his very first term, ended up winning it and gave us all kinds of, of praise for it. But ultimately, it's about the system we put in place. It's not us, and it, and it does take some work. I mean, you still got to get in there, at least spend 10 minutes a week. But if you'll do that, you will have such an advantage over the fish and over your friends and everyone else fishing. So once again, here's what you're going to get today when you join 400 plus on the water how-to fishing tip videos, the 10-minute smart fishing game plan videos every single week for 52 weeks, the satellite spot dissection video library I mentioned earlier, 20% off all fishing tackle reviews and comparisons, total value $1,591. But we're also gonna throw in some really, really cool, completely free bonuses if you act today. Bonus number one is the Inshore Spots Mastery Course. This is something that we were selling for $297. we have actually pulled it back. This is another one that is now exclusive to our insider members. And this is worth its weight in gold. This is the foundation, right? We talked about it earlier. No matter how much tackle you have, even if you have a $100,000 flats boat, in you're fishing in a dead zone, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to catch fish, right? Uh, the tackle, just spending more money on tackle is not going to solve the problem if you're in an area where there's not any fish. So this course is 100% focused on using online satellite maps and even some on the water, really cool secrets to help you get in the feeding zones, to help you get in that 90-10 zone. Yeah, it's the foundation for linking how fish behave to the weather conditions, you know, based on the weather conditions. It's, it's the foundation for, for predicting exactly where the fish are going to be holding at any given time throughout the year. Yep. So that's bonus number one. Bonus number two, this is something that we wish someone had told us about or shown us the tricks to mastering it, and it's positioning and approach. And we go over how to position and approach every type of piece of structure from oyster bars and sandbars and beaches and docks and any kind of structure you can imagine, both in a boat and a kayak and even some on foot. And here's why this is important. We could put you in the best spot, and we will. If you join us today, we're going to help you get in the feeding zone. But the absolute worst thing you could do, and this happens every single day, is you blow out a spot because you position or approach it from the wrong area or the wrong direction based on the wind and the tides. It, it is, oh, talk about just like heartbreaking. If you're in the perfect area, you've done the hardest part. And then you completely blow out the spot and spook all the fish because you go on the wrong way. And this course solves that for you. Bonus number three is inshore fishing mastery. This is another one worth $300. This is worth $300 all day long. And then some, we have three different coaches, three different areas of expertise, meaning live bait, lures, and even some kayak fishing. And we cover all four seasons. This is about going out there and just getting tight lines every single time you hit the water. I absolutely love this course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, these are the three pillars to, to, again, really to have, these are all foundational. That's why we decided to add these as bonuses, because when you get these courses and then you, then you go through these weekly game plans, 
you're going to, you're going to go from beginner to, to totally advanced, extremely fast. But we're not done yet. Are we Lukey? So we've got some more bonuses we want to throw in. So those mastery courses, those are a couple hours. Those are very in-depth. They're they're basically master classes on how to truly master those specific skills. These mini fish courses are anywhere, you know, from 20 minutes to maybe 35 minutes or a little bit shorter. And we've gone out there and teamed out with some of the best guides and some of the best pros. And we had to pay them a lot of money. I believe we've spent well over $30,000 just making these little mini courses to get their best stuff. And and people love this because this is something you can do on a lunch break. And once again, if you go through these mini courses, I I know there's dozens of them now, you will have such a massive advantage over everyone else out there who's just learning it the hard way of trial and error time and time again. This is like the ultimate shortcut. And I put $997 value. It's worth a whole lot more than that because it would cost you, as as we know, tens of thousands to go out there and get the same intel from these same pros. And then bonus number five, we've talked about this community. You've seen a couple of the screenshots from it. This is, this is really where a lot of the magic happens now. So most people come in just being candid for the 10 minute smart fishing game plan. They love it. It saves them time. A lot of people come in for the discounts. A lot of people love saving money on tackle. I get it. But what we're finding now in in year five is that people are renewing and sticking with the club because of this community. We have meetups now. We had one recently in Texas, one in Virginia. We got some coming up in uh, in Florida here uh, very soon. We have people who are now becoming friends going out and kayak fishing, want the boat together and having beers. It's become a family. It's become a whole lot more than just sharing what's working now and sharing some discounts together. It's now truly become a family. And this whole private community is so positive. It is so helpful. Luke, right? There's no cursing in there. I mean, it's just anglers helping anglers and there's nothing like it out there on the, on the, on the internet. Yeah. And this is really like a Facebook group on steroids is how we really explain it. It's, it's organized. It's easy. It's easy to navigate and, it, and it's all regionalized. It's a, it is awesome. Yep. So here's what you're going to get again, 400 plus on the water, how to fishing tip videos, 10 minute smart fishing game plan videos every week for 52 weeks, a satellite spot dissection video library from Texas to Florida to Virginia, 20% off all fishing tackle that includes reviews and the comparisons. And then we got the bonuses, the finding spots mastery course. We got the positioning and approach course, the inshore fishing mastery course, all the mini fishing course library and the private online community. That's a total value, $3,547. Now, if all this did was just help you catch one or two more fish per trip, would it be worth it? Now, if all this did was just help you save 60 minutes per trip, not having to waste your time bouncing around from unproductive spot to another, would it be worth it? And would it be worth it to save a few hundred dollars per year and make your spouse happy with you on your tackle? Would would that be worth it? What about if it helped you outfish all of your friends? Would it be worth it? So that really comes down to is how much would all this be worth to you? I don't know if you've ever put pen to paper, but it would actually cost you $36,400 to hire a full-time guide just once per week for a year. Can you imagine? And yet you're getting to see new on the water fishing tips every single week. It's like having a guide in your back pocket. I mean, how much would it worth you to see new spots and trends every single week? And how much would it be worth you to know the latest trends for finding the feeding zones? And how much would it be worth to have a fishing guide in your back pocket, basically someone that you could reach out to at any given time to find out exactly where you should be fishing and what you should be fishing with? So right now, guys, you have two choices. Number one is keep fishing by yourself the hard way. Keep doing stuff the way you've always done it. Or number two, join the Insider Club. Join us and get the easy way. Now, you're probably thinking, all right, this probably pretty expensive and it should be expensive. Why? Because it's like having a fishing guide show you his best spots every single week and then tell you why the fish were there and answer all your questions throughout the full year because this entire thing is interactive. As I mentioned, this would cost you $36,400 for the year if you just hired a guide once per week for an entire year. But the great news, it is not expensive. So you're probably wondering, all right, Joe, get to the point. What's the cost, right? 
Well, you can probably see why it's a good deal at $3,547. And I know there's probably some people that, that are in the club who probably say, you know what, I would pay you for that because you saved me so much more in time and money. But because you stuck it out with us on this webinar, you're going to get all of it, everything now for just one payment of $97 today, plus an unheard of 365 day 200% thrilled money back guarantee that I'll explain in a second, but click down below now. Guys, this comes to just 27 cents per day for all of the on the water fishing tips, for all these daily fishing reports, for all the tackle discounts, for the weekly 10 minute game plan reports, and everything you just saw 27 cents per day. That's a fraction of what your wife spends on her daily $4 double espresso chai tea infused fancy pants in one and out the other double latte. And here's what you're going to get again today, 400 plus on the water how-to fishing tip videos, the 10 minute smart fishing game plan videos every single week for 52 weeks, the satellite spot dissection video library from Texas to Florida to Virginia. 20% off all fishing tackle, the reviews and the comparisons, plus all the bonuses, the Finding Spots Mastery course, the Positioning and Approach course, the Inshore Fishing Mastery course, the Mini Fishing course library, the private online community for a total value of $3,547. Yet, you get all of this now for just $97 today. Click the button below now to start. So guys, if you're still here, you have two choices right now. Option number one is do nothing. Don't take this small leap of faith, which is once again, 100% risk-free and just keep doing what you've always done. Probably end up frustrated and probably having a much longer learning curve and while paying full, tack, full price for your tackle. Or option number two is just pony up this very small investment today compared with all the value you get in return and just give it a shot. If it works, great. If not, just ask for your money back and you'll get it. I mentioned a 365-day guarantee plus a 200% money back guarantee. I want to explain both. So when you sign up today, if you don't like it for any reason at any time, and we don't even care if it's day 364 and 23 hours and 59 minutes from now, just email us at support at saltstrom.com or call us toll free 855-888-6494 and talk to a real live American person in our office and we'll quickly refund your money with no further charges or obligations. And we're so confident this will work that we've put in an unheard of 200% money back guarantee. So it's risk-free for 365 days. All we ask is that you go through the three courses that we're going to give you the three bonuses, go through these on the water fishing tips, go through these weekly 10 minute fishing game plan videos and, and stick with the community for your, give it a shot. And if you aren't catching more fish, and if you're not saving more money, and if you just feel like it was a waste of your time, you email us and ask for a double refund and we'll actually give you an extra hundred dollars for wasting your time. So guys, the real question is, is it worth investing just $97 to get guaranteed results? If it does even half of what we claim today on this webinar, it will pay for itself in the first month. So click the link now to join the Insider Club. If you're still here, I'm going to reiterate one more time what you're going to get. You're going to get the 400 plus on the water how-to fishing tip videos the 10 minute smart fishing game plan videos every week for 52 weeks, the satellite spot dissection video library from Texas to Florida to Virginia, 20% off all fishing tackle reviews and the comparisons. Bonus number one, finding spots mastery course, the positioning and approach course, the inshore fishing mastery course, and the mini fish fishing course library, plus the private online community total value $3,547. Now, if you didn't sign up immediately and you're still listening to this, reason number one is I'm worried this might not work in my area. Well, if you're in Texas to Florida to Virginia, this is proven time and time again, this will work. If you're into catching inshore saltwater fish, redfish, speckled trout and snook and flounder and mangrove snapper, this will work in your area. It is 100% guaranteed. The second reason we hear sometimes is I don't have a boat and I, or I'm a kayak angler or shore fisherman. It's proven to work in work amongst all three, because let's face it, regardless if you're in a boat, 
or a kayak or a paddleboard or from shore, the number one thing you have to solve for is where to find the feeding fish. And that's what we focus on every single week, week in and week out. It's all about where to find the fish, not so much what you're fishing from. And then reason number three is I don't have enough time. Well, as we said earlier, that's the whole reason that we put this thing in place. We're all busy. This is everything that we wished was available to when we were a little bit frustrated, when we were super inconsistent and we didn't have enough time because we had jobs. We started having kids and families. We wish someone could just guide us and tell us exactly where we need to go, exactly what types of spots to fish in, all in 10 minutes or less. That is really the entire reason that we created this to help you save tons of time and help you save tons of money. So once again, here's what you're going to get today. The 400 plus on the water how-to fishing tip videos, the 10 minute smart fishing game plan videos every week for 52 weeks, the satellite spot dissection video library from Texas to Florida to Virginia, the 20% off all your fishing tackle and the reviews and the comparisons that we're doing internally. Bonus number one, Finding Spots Mastery Course, the Positioning and Approach Course, the Inshore Fishing Mastery Course, the Mini Fishing Course Library, the Private Online Community, total value $3,000. $547. I mentioned this earlier that the average saltwater angler spends around $1,592. Do the math on that. If you save 20% on the stuff that you're already spending money on, you're going to be saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars, making your spouse super happy with you, finally saving some money on that tackle versus having he or she look at you wondering why the heck you keep spending so much money on it. Now you can look them in the eyes and see you're actually saving tons of money because of this club. So get started right now for just $97 today. That covers you for an entire year and you'll get unlimited access to everything. Click the button below now. And if you have any questions, please hit us up. We'd love to hear from you. We're always here to help. It's always interactive. We're always here to help. We're always here to serve you. You can reach out to us at any time at support at saltshore.com or call us toll free at 855 855- 888-6494 or just sign up right now because it's risk-free and get in the community and our coaches including myself and Luke will usually see your comment or your post or your question usually within an hour or two and get back to you super super fast so join us today I cannot wait to see you in the community and I cannot wait to see how many more fish you're catching I cannot wait to see how many more memories you're creating with your loved ones and I cannot wait to see your camera full of fish and all of the fishing reports you're putting up inside the community click down below now and we'll see you inside